Industrial Park hapa Nyandarwa. Ndio viazi, mboga na mazao yenu yote tuweze kupata storage mzuri ambayo hata soko ikichelewa tunaweza kuwa na storage ya miezi miwili miezi mitatu tukingojea bei mzuri na hatutaki mazao yenu iharibike tena county government watatoa milioni miambili hamsini national government itatoa milioni miambili hamsini ikihitajika kuzidi hapo mimi ndio nitatafuta hiyo pesa ingine mpaka tuwe na aggregation na industrial park ya watu wa Nyandarwa tufanye mambo mawili ya muhimu tuwe na storage mzuri na vile vile tuanze kuongeza dhamana ama tuanze value addition ndio ile tunauza tunauza tukiwa tunapata pesa ya kutoshana na jasho ya mwananchi ama mkulima so that is our commitment na mbali na hiyo soko kubwa ambayo tutajenga hiyo aggregation and industrial park na Moses Kuria ako hapa alifanya eh, mkutano na governors jana wamekubaliana kwa sababu iko katika wizara yake vile hiyo program itaendelea mbali na hiyo soko kubwa pia vile mumesikia waziri na wizara ya mambo ya eh, barabara na mbogwa yako hapa atasimamia hapa tutajenga soko kubwa ya engineer ili wananchi wa hapa wapate mahali pazuri yenye haiwezi wananchi wa Nyeshewi wafanye biashara wako na mahali pazuri pa kufanya biashara yao hata ikifanyika biashara mpaka saa tatu, saa ine, saa tano usiku iko taa na iko maneno yake yote mzuri na mbali na hiyo soko pia tutajenga soko ingine kule kwa haraka na tutajenga soko ingine wanjohi na tutajenga soko ingine miharati na tutajenga soko ingine sambuko na mtatuambia mahali ingine ya kujenga soko kwa sababu nilikubali ya kwamba mambo ni bottom up tunaanza na wale wanaangaika barabarani tuwapangie vile wanaweza kufanya biashara kwa njia ya heshima na kwa sababu si tulikubaliana kazi ni kazi ama tulikubaliana namna gani si tulisema wera ni wera eh hiyo ndio tunataka tuipangie vizuri wewe medu na wewe sasa wewe ndio kuchung ile maneno nimesema ndio unaenda unafuatilia si ndio that's very good <coughs> na maneno hiyo isipofanyika ndakuja kuambia raia wewe ndio ulizuba <laughs> <laughs> so tutaendelea namna hiyo mimi nataka nishukuru governor wenu tumekubaliana ile kazi ambayo tutagawana hapa mambo ya stadium nilisema nitakuja nijenge nikamilishe maneno ya um, Uh, tumekubaliana mambo ya aggregation industrial park atafanya sehemu yake nitafanya sehemu ile ingine tumekubaliana vile vile tulikuwa na mpango ya milk coolers ambayo ilikwama kwa miaka tano kwa sababu ya siasa duni tumekwamua hiyo program tumelipa sasa pesa ambayo ilikuwa inahitajika kidogo ambayo sehemu yetu kama serikali ya Kenya serikali ya Poland itatupatia sasa hiyo mitungi nataka governor na county government waanze kupanga ni sehemu gani tuko na milk coolers 30 ya watu wa Nyandarwa na niliwaambia wakati tulikutana pale kabla ya uchaguzi niliwaambia wakati tulikuja kufanya economic program ambayo tulikuwa nayo and i want to keep my word on that commitment niliwaambia tutaikwamua tumeshaikwamua kuanzia mwezi wa nane milk coolers itakuwa hapa wewe governor na county government mutayarishe mahali tutaziweka ndio maziwa ya hawa wananchi isiharibike tena maziwa wakikamua wanapeleka kwa milk cooler na wanangojea mpaka bei ikuwe sawa sawa sasa hakuna haraka tunaelewana
na mtu waziwatishe ati oh unajua usipouza sijui taharibika sasa tuko na mpango ya kumalizana na hawa mabroka na hawa makatel sasa tuko na mambo yao tunaelewana jameni so that is the program we have kwa watu wa Nyandarwa mmesikia vizuri MCS mmesikia vile nimesema tuko na milk coolers 30 anzeni kupanga mahali tutaziweka na tunataka every ward at least kuwe na milk cooler katika kila ward vile vile tumekubaliana katika hii harakati tunaweka pia mpango ambayo itatusaidia kupanga ajira na hiyo ni mpango hiyo ya agricultural na aggregation park mambo ya soko itatupatia ajira vile vile tumepanga kama serikali kwa sababu tunatafuta ile inaitwa digital jobs kila ward tunataka pia kuwe na ICT hub mahali vijana wanaweza kufanya kazi katika mtandao tuko na digital jobs watu wanaweza kuokaa hapa Nyandarwa lakini wanafanya kazi Marekani wanaweza kuwa hapa Nyandarwa lakini wanaweza kufanya kazi Ulaya na hiyo program tutashirikiana na wabunge every member of parliament must begin to think about ICT hubs because we are going to assist you to equip them so that we can empower the young people of our country with digital jobs na vile vile tuko na mpango ya housing vile mumesikia tuko na mpango kubwa ya housing hapa Nyandarwa kwanza sio Nyandarwa hapa engineer si niliwaambia last saturday nitarukuja hii saturday si ndio huyo nimefika na kutumeanzisha ile barabara niliwaambia mimi nitarudi hapa tena baada ya miezi miwili na kuja kuanzisha program ya housing hapa hapa engineer tumepangia nyumba mia mbili ya kwanza na hiyo nyumba mia mbili mimi nahitaji vijana mia ine watakaofanya hiyo ka, kazi na ni vijana wa hapa engineer vijana wa engineer muko vijana wa engineer muko muko tayari ama nyinyi ni wale wa kuchagua jembe nyinyi ni watu wa kuchagua jembe nyinyi ni watu wa kazi ile wera ni wera mi narudi hapa two months nataka vijana mia ine watakao tusaidia kujenga manyumba mia mbili ya hapa engineer na hiyo ni tuko na nyumba zingine olkalao tutaweka nyumba zingine kule ndaragwa tutaweka nyumba zingine every path mpango yetu ni nyumba elfu tano hapa nyandarwa kwa sababu tunataka kupanga ajira ya zaidi ya vijana 1200 hapa Nyandarwa. That is our commitment and that is what we want to achieve. Na ndio mnasikia tunasema sisi ambao tuko na bahati ya kuwa na kazi. Lazima tuwafikirie vijana wetu ambao hawana kazi. Na tumekubaliana sisi wote kama wa Kenya. Sijapata hata mtu mmoja hata wa upinzani sijapata kiongozi wa upinzani ambaye anasema haoni tatizo la ukosefu wa kazi Kenya I have never come across any leader even those in the opposition we agree all of us on the subject of unemployment in Kenya and that we must have a deliberate plan on how to sort out unemployment I want to tell the good people of Kenya my fellow countrymen and women the plan the government of kenya now has a comprehensive intentional plan on how to sort out unemployment apart from digital jobs that we are going to spread across the country on matters uh, around our ict hubs we are also working on agricultural aggregation and industrial parks that will provide for us value addition agro processing jobs across the country we also have our housing program that is going to provide at least a million jobs for the young people of the republic of kenya and we all agree that it is necessary that it is uh, the most important thing that we need to do in the republic of kenya and i want to say 
we have a plan on how to sort out the millions of young people, our own children, the children of the Republic of Kenya, 800,000 who come out of schools and colleges every year. We now have a plan for them. Na mimi nataka niwaulize kazi haiwezi kupatikana kwa karata ya pata potea. Kazi inapatikana kwa mpango. Na hiyo ndiyo mpango tumepanga. Tunakubaliana jameni? Tutashirikiana sisi wote. Si tunataka hawa vijana wetu wapate ajira ama mnasemaje watu wa njinia na nyandarwa? Mnataka tupange ajira ya hawa vijana? Si watoto kila nyumba haikozi watoto wa nne wa tatu wa wana kazi. Ni kweli ama si kweli? So tunasema serikali ya Kenya sasa iko na mpango. Na mimi nataka sisi wote tuungane tutekeleze hiyo mpango ndio vijana wetu wapate ajira ndio kila mkenya ashughulike katika ile mpango yetu ya kazi ni kazi kila mtu awe na mpango ya ajira ndio tuweze kusukuma Kenya mbele na hata baadaye tukiwa na wafanyikazi wengi tutaanza kupunguza ushuru tukiwa tumepanga watu wengi dunia itaanza sasa kusonga tumekubaliana neguo kana tiguo tumekubaliana tutatembea namna hiyo watu wa nyandarwa mnakubali tupange ajira ya watoto wetu wote wa Kenya hebu nione kwa mikono wale wanasema tunakubali mpango ya ajira ya watoto bas sasa wale wengine sasa mmeona vile raia wameamua sio mimi hawa raia ndio wanataka watoto wao wapate kazi so mzishindane na mimi mimi nataka nimalizie kwa kusema ya kwamba Uh, unajua huyu rigiji my deputy ni mtu ya kusema ukweli mingi lakini hata hawa wengine unawaambia ukweli ni kama kupigia mbuzi kitaa hawasikii kwa sababu unajua wengi wa hawa jamaa wanatuandika maneno mingi wako na hasira na sisi kwa sababu tulishinda candidate yao So tutawazamee tu acha wakasirike kidogo kidogo sijui watafikisha wapi lakini wawache hasira wakuje tuungane tupeleke Kenya mbele jameni Sasa si uchaguzi si uchaguzi ilimalizika ama ni aje Sasa hakuna haja ya kukasirika na sisi mlikuwa na candidate yenu tukamshinda Sasa hasira ni ya nini si mumpange pengine siku nyingine atapata baada ya 2037 ama 20 ngapi Apang, ajipange na huko mbele ama namna gani so wacheni hasira wacheni uchochezi wacheni fujo sisi tunataka tuunganishe taifa letu la Kenya tuhakikisha kwamba Kenya inaenda mbele and i want to give you my commitment we are going to work together we are going to respect everybody and we are going to unite the people of Kenya ndio tuweze kupeleka taifa letu mbele wa Kenya wote wakiwa wameungana mimi sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo najua pongezi tena my friend and brother Joseph uh, Mbogwa na familia yako I am confident that the job you have you have the necessary experience you have the necessary commitment and passion to be able to deliver Waacha tu niwasahihishe kidogo huyu mungwana anaitwa Joseph Mbogwa <coughs> ni wa hapa engineer na nyandarwa kwa makao lakini huyu si wenu ati wa kuzunguka hapa ati atakuwa anazunguka hapa huyu ni mfanyikazi ya wakenya wote huyo mbogwa atapanga sehemu yote ya Kenya si mnaelewa hivyo pengine tu atapanga panga lakini hawezi kusahau nyumbani si mambo za zingine inaanzia Jerusalem so atakumbuka Jerusalem lakini anajua kazi nimempatia ni kazi ya Kenya mzima na mimi ni, niko na imani ako na uwezo ya kutekeleza hiyo kazi akifanya kazi na wenzake eh, ma PSS na mawaziri na sisi wote ili tuweze kutekeleza manifesto yetu na kupanga maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya watu wa Nyandarwa mimi nataka niseme asante sana kwa kutukaribisha mimi nitarudi hapa tena na tena na tena na tena. Pengine 
wacha nieleze kidogo ni kwa sababu gani pengine nakuja nyandarwa zaidi unajua pale mbeleni nyandarwa ilipotelea katikati ya Rift Valley na Central Province ili kapotea hapa katikati wale wengine tukisema Central tunaenda tunapita tukisema Rift Valley tunapita tena nyandarwa so this time round tutawaweka katikati vizuri so asanteni sana mwadhani amuradhime asante